This is the book of um, Jeremiah chapter 2 and verse 33. And it reads, Why trimmest thou thy ways to seek love? Therefore hast thou also taught the wicked ones thy ways. I'm going to start off by giving all praises, all honor, and all glory to called Loyam Ma Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rachakadosh Bukatam. I'm going to say double honors to my elders, to my elders, the apostles, the heads of the great millstone who teach and do rule, who teach and do rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and their freedom to do so, now more so than ever. Shalom to the Akim and the Aguat out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, this is edifying. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad and the land of other nations appearing like the other nations, but whom subscribe to this truth. To you, I say Shalom. That's the brother Yahweh Sop out of the GMS Cleveland Church of Fellow Servant. Coming at you with another lesson through the Spirit and through the power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And um, this lesson is, you know, a lesson um, pretty much dealing with, um, you know, uh, an article I seen about Kodak Black and DJ Trump. And I came out with this Jeremiah chapter 2 and verse 33 because of the fact, you know, um, it seemed like no matter what this devil has done, our people have um, a lapse in, in memory. Like they can't recall the all the um, wickedness this devil has done. Um, there was a video by the elder, not Zak, um, from South Carolina, and this is the title: Hebrew Israelites don't complicate the truth with you. And um, you know, it was a very edifying video. And he also went into the fact, you know, um, he went into the whole mindset of you know two thirds of Jake, you know, that pretty much they reject the truth because um, you know, and it's funny because he did a video about a uh, 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 Jake that said basically he's no longer a Hebrew Israelite and like. Um, the elder was speaking on if you 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 can no longer like you may not call yourself practicing the customs, but you can't not be a Hebrew Israelite if you're a Hebrew Israelite. It's a nationality. It ain't a uh, you know uh, it, it ain't a um, a religion. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's our heritage. So um, and one of the reasons why the young know, Jake said <laughs> they was going in on Jake. They was talking about you know he can, he did seem a little bit unfeminine. I can't say if he you know. As they was talking about, he, the elder <laughs> said a saying I never heard of, too light in the loafers. But, uh, you know, certain Jakes was talking about that, you know, they could see the, the feminine spirit and maybe, you know, he went, you know, with the alphabet cut, um, ap with the alphabet letters, you know, he was into, you know, the same sex or, you know, same persuasion or whatnot. I don't know. But uh, he said he didn't believe in, you know, anything where you had to hate, you know, Hey, and, and the elder made a beautiful point with that video today about don't complicate the truth. He said, um, you know, you act as if like you telling me that you really don't feel some kind of way or hate the individuals that pretty much put you in slavery, put your ancestors in slavery, did all these abominable things to you. You got to remember, they raped men. You know, buck breaking is a real fucking thing. And then you'll sit up there and. You know, they, everybody's so surprised about the, the activities of, you know, these Jeffrey Epstein's and all this wickedness that goes on, you know. Uh, I remember the elders were speaking on the donut factory or donut, you know. Um, and, uh, <laughs> I went and checked him out, and he was speaking on that same very thing today because of all these things going on, specifically today, you know. Um, but uh, with that being said, you know, it's like, Israel is always, you know, like it's some kind of clause, like the elder said, where you can't hate your neighbor. You know, what's Salakia? You're not supposed to hate your neighbor. But the scriptures talk about, you know, Israel is broken up into tribes. And, you know, the tribes pretty much, if it's a person of your tribe, that's your kinsman, that's your neighbor, that's your brother. When he goes into, you know, the definition of that word, you know. Um, so, but, you know, these basically the other nations you know the scriptures talk about how the lord divided the nations matter of fact i'm gonna get that real quick this is the book of deuteronomy chapter 32 i'm gonna start at um verse five let's start at verse four he is the rock he his work is perfect for all his ways are ju judgment damn that's a deep for all his ways are judgment 
a power of truth and without iniquity, just and right is he. Verse 5, they have corrupted themselves, which is who? Who corrupted themselves? The Israelites. Their spot is not the spot of his children. They are a perverse and crooked generation. Do ye thus requite, requite the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai, O foolish people and unwise? Is not he thy father that hath brought thee? Hath he not made thee and established thee? Verse 7, remember the days of old, consider the years of many generations. Ask thy father, and he will show thee thy elders, and they will tell thee. Verse 8, when the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam and set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. Verse 9, for the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. So that's telling you clearly that the Lord has a, 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 a specific people. You know, that's why you got what's going on right now, you know, um, where pretty much the Balfour Declaration, where they considered those to be, you know, the Most High God's people, showing you that they don't know the scriptures, though, because it, the scriptures tell you that the Most High God was going to put the people, his children back in the land, not man, you know. You know, look at all the abominable things they're doing in the land. That's why that place has to be burnt up as well, you know. Look at all this world that's being promoted through the earth based on these people. Yet still, the scriptures say when the people are back in the land, they'll, be, they'll, they'll basically beat their plowshares into, I mean, they'll beat their um, swords into plowshares and, 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 and their shields into pruning hooks, roughly, roughly paraphrased, you know. But, but basically, it'll be no war no more. So why is pretty much everybody anticipating World War Three? You know, the scriptures talk about the leaves of the flock drawing them out. But it's a lucky for the digression, you know. Um, so, you know, this article caught my attention because, you know, Kodak Black made a statement and, you know, that shit gonna come bite him in the ass. This um, reads, Kodak Black reacts to, um, so lock it. Kodak Black reacts to Donald Trump's racist comments made towards Haitians. So it says Kodak Black, as an avid Donald Trump supporter, has responded to the politician's racist remarks regarding Haitian people, which the Haitian people are the Levites, you know, um, the Levitical priests of the nation, you know, um, um, you know, everyone that basically can go back to the line of uh, of Aaron was considered, you know, you know. You know, because I, I do know that you had to um, be able to trace your line back to the line of Aaron. It says, um, you act to the stage during a recent concert after playing a clip of former President Trump's remarks regarding Haitian immigrants at the Columbus, Ohio venue. I didn't even know he was in Ohio. Of course I'm angry. We got 21 million people that came into our country evading our communities, invading our cities and our towns, and destroying our company. It's like it, our country. Trump could be heard saying, I'm so lucky I'm angry about Venezuelan, Venezuelan gangs taking over Aurora, Colorado, and I'm angry about illegal Haitian migrants taking over Springfield, Ohio. You see what, see the mess? You see that mess, don't you? Kodak then addressed Trump's comments as he spoke to the audience. He questioned whether or not the clip was real, and before the audience could answer, he declared his support for the controversial prep politician. So even after this man making these goofy-ass remarks, because he said something that I said, you know, and then when you read this article, it goes into something that I was recently saying, you know, um, true enough, you know, especially on the left hand side, you know, you know, the Levites, the Haitians, the, you know, they've been known to practice, you know, hoodoo and, you know, voodoo and all these different, you know, left hand, um, you know, there's witchcraft basically, but, and, you know, don't get me wrong, um, the land of Haiti pretty much was in turmoil um, within like the last year or two. Um, you know, they've always been poor, but what I'm going to say is this, you got right now the government taking care of, you know, all these different migrants, you know, it's already been exposed how you, you had the migrant that they found, um, receipt and then had all this money for food and all this money for, you know, you know, cash, you know, for whatever, whatever they needed it for. So. And then, and then I watched the actual, like, um, it's a guy on YouTube, I think his name is Oliver, Tyler Oliver or something like that, but he goes to different areas of the country, 
you know, like some of the worst areas in the country. You know, he, I've done videos on him before. You know, Florida, some of the, um, I think he's been down to um, Kingston and um, what's that, in PA. You know, some of the worst streets where, you know, drugs is out here. You know, the people out here fucked up. And he just goes investigates. And he went out there and I saw, I saw the, um, the video and pretty much he was interviewing people. And, you know, you had Esau making one statement, but you had, you know, the Levites or the Haitians, um, you had the Levites pretty much making another. And they like, you know, you had one individual say, well, you know, it could be true, but I don't completely believe it. I would have to, you know, but he said it could be true. You know, he's like, I, you know, but I don't completely believe it, you know. But then everybody else was laughing and, you know, it was misinformation pretty much. Because at the end of the day, why would they have to? <laughs> you know what I mean? And and, and the article is going to bring it out. Of course, I'm, I read that part. Kodak then, he said, um, he questioned whether or not uh, declared support. That shit crazy. That shit, that shit true, man. I, I ain't going to lie, homie. I'm a motherfucking Trump supporter, Yak said, to a litany of booze being thrown his way. I'm Haitian. So he put this Edomite politician over, uh, over, uh, you know, his heritage, you know, which, you know, it's funny because, you know, again, Kodak was into, you know, the Israelites, you know, at one point in time. But, you know, to be, you know, Kodak is still in the world, you know, and a part of this truth, a major part of this truth is to leave the world, you know, behind, you know, you, you know, we in the world, but we're not of the world. And, you know, you know, this thing requires you to be very disciplined you're gonna to have to go without certain things you're gonna to have to give up certain things and everybody's not gonna be able to do that he says um how y'all feeling about this election shit i feel like we fucked anyway <laughs> which you know is crazy and, and out of it and you know uh, how out of it he is he right either way it go they gave you two individuals you know that is no greater of two evils they both gonna bring the same agenda I ain't with that Kamala, Her Kamala, hair shit either. What the fuck going on in America? This bitch ending, you know. This bitch, I mean, you know, even Boosie saw that. He said he ain't never seen the people this broke. And you know, Boosie is like damn near my age. So, you know, I've seen certain shit in my lifetime. You know what I mean? Like I was alive for 1987. You know what I mean? I don't recall like that because I was a young man at the time. But nonetheless. Man, I probably was like nine or ten years old, but you know when you had a stock market crash, you know what they call that Black Monday. I'm 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 gonna finna go to Springfield tomorrow. I'm a, I'm I'm going over there. I gotta see this shit. I ain't smelling that. I ain't seen no Haitian eating no cat, homie. When y'all show me a Haitian eating a cat, then y'all can say that shit. Cause he was offended by it, and I was as well. You know what I mean? Like at the end of the day, because you know showing you just the way. This shit can work, you know what I mean? A motherfucker just say something and then run off with it. And, and that's how the society goes. A woman can literally tell you, tell the police that you hit her with no evidence and they'll come get you. Seeing it happen. The racist rhetoric first hit the web after Eric Erica Lee, a resident of Springfield, spread the misinformation on Facebook. Lee was reacting to her neighbor's cat who had been missing from their home where she claimed that Haitian immigrants attacked the feline. So basically because the, the Haitians was there and the cat was missing, she automatically just put it out there, oh, the Haitians ate it. Stop! Get down. Good man. First, um, it says, NBC News reported that local law enforcement never found any evidence that Haitian people were directly related to pets disappearing. And I just told you, the guy, was his name? Tyler Oliver, like pretty much, you know, like the guy Donut said and a few individuals, like pretty much they're painting, uh, a lot of brothers made this statement too, they're painting, you know, these migrants, which mostly are Jakes, <laughs> you know what I mean? They, most of these are Israelites, you know what I mean? You know, you, you never hear them talk about the Russian migrants that came in here or the, or the Moabite or the Chinese uh, migrants that came here. But you hear them always talk about the Venezuelans or the Haitians. You know, they paint a picture of Jake. And it's a reason why um, Donald Trump was speaking about that immigrant uh, tracking system. It's funny how he made a statement about that when he was in office years ago. Damn near how many years ago? Like eight years ago or some shit like that. And then now you got all these migrants suddenly flooded America, you know what I mean?
and then he just so happens to be coming up. And he says certain things he's going to get done. It says, um, Lee has since apologized, insisting that she is not a racist, <laughs> but that's what all the racists say, right? And that she doesn't have any proof of her claims. However, her apology didn't stop the misinformation from taking on a life of its own as the baseless claims caused a couple of Springfield institutions to be closed and then reopened with increased security per CNN. And, you know, because at the end of the day, you know, people want something to blame. You know, like what Trump said, he said he's going to bring back, um, you know, uh, public executions. And then when you go into the French Revolution, like um guy was going into it, he was like pretty much they, you know, you know, like, 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 when people are miserable, they they want to see blood in the street. You know, what I mean, like, 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 what do you say? People uh, is is, is uh, pretty much people are pretty much pleased with uh, drugs, um, sex, and rock and roll. Uh, what do you say? Drugs, sex, and, and and blood or something like that. You know, why do you think like boxing and, and MMA is some of the most, you know, um, highly paid sports and highly grossing sports? Because people are into, you know, the people. You know, are 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 I demanded to a degree. You know what I mean? Like, for real. Lee insistent claims then traveled 445.5 miles from Springfield, Ohio, to Washington D.C., where Donald Trump referenced the misinformation to gaslight those gaslight. Go look up that light. That 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 term. Gaslight those who tuned in to the debate between himself and Vice President Kamala Harris in early September, and now we're here. So, you know, based on um, a phrase, pretty much, um, but because like I said again, they, they, you know, these Americans, these Babylonians want somebody to blame. And then they're not blaming their politicians that they pretty much elected to put in office that's basically making these policies and chose to do these things. They want to blame the people that got, you know, that's just like for instance, you know, if, 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 if me and you both in the line and you, are basically awarded something although we both waiting on it yeah i might be like damn but can i really hate on you like who wouldn't take advantage of leaving from their country for you know their their more impoverished country to come to you know the so-called a blessed america so why are you mad at the migrants you know what i mean it did like i said again you know like you got brothers in different states that actually are having to deal with this you know it's funny they didn't, I mean, I'm sure some in Cleveland, but, you know, it's not uh, a large population like certain places, you know. So, uh, with that being said, you know, um, it just caught my attention because Kodak was pretty much, he like, after this man telling you his spirit, you know, he literally still like, I still endorse him because, you know, Kodak lost. You know, scriptures talk about... Um, the leaders of our people cause them to err. You know, people follow Kodak. They don't. They not following. You know, it's not a multitude of our people following. You know, the heads and the elders of the Great Millstone. You know, the true leaders of Israel. You know, you know because the Lord got to set up like that. You got to remember, the Lord doesn't want everybody to get this, because <laughs> the truth is only for a few. You know, and you know, I'm sure he feel he got to be loyal because Kodak is a street nigga. You know. I mean, he really street dude. So therefore, like he in his mind, he looking at it like because I recall when Donald Trump pardoned him. A lot of people should remember that. But you know, at the end of the day, he pardoned a lot of celebrities at that time. I believe Lil Wayne as well. But you know, at the end of the day, the scriptures talk about the earth being given into the hand of the wicked. You know, so that he got the power to do all that. But he, you know, what I mean, again, he don't really fuck with y'all. You better ask that black chick. Um, I can't think of her name, but she messed with the guy, Michael Dun Duncan Clark, that played on Green Mile. Amarosa. You know what I mean? Like, she had to the point where she knew his mindset for real. Because he would, like, she she had secret tapes and all that. And all the racist shit he was saying on them, pretty much, they they didn't give a fuck about none of that. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is the book of Ecclesiasticus or the book of Sirach, chapter 13. Starting at um, verse 1, and it reads, He that touch a pitch shall be defiled therewith, and he that have fellowship with a proud man shall be like unto him. You know, and we know Donald Trump is a proud man. And, you know, most of these celebrities are proud, you know. You know, uh, I was, again, listening to that Donut Factory, and um, dude was going into how, you know, he was just showing all these different pictures. You know, and he was talking about the elite of the entertainment industry with the elite 
uh, you know, society, the, the politicians and, you know what I mean? You know, because you, you, like the elder just said recently, like George Carlin basically coined, he said, uh, it, it, it's, a, it, it's a club and you not in it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Verse 2, burden not thyself above thy power while thou livest, and have no fellowship with one that is mightier and richer than thyself. For how agree the kettle and the earthen pot together? For if the one be smitten against the other, it shall be broken. The rich man hath done wrong, and yet he threatened with the, the poor is wrong, that he must entreat also. Verse 4, if thou be for his profit, he will use thee, but if thou have nothing, he will forsake thee. You know what I mean? You know, that was that was just him chumming it up with, you know what I mean? Again, they even if Kodak don't go to all those elite parties like the Epstein Island shit, but Trump did, you know what I mean? But, you know, that's an elite club, you know what I mean? Again, that's just like um, I was finding out about, um, I was finding out about um, pretty much Kodak Black lawyer is the same lawyer for um, Young Boy, NBA, Young Boy NBA. And... He pretty much like, well, the, the gun case, like the shit that he been pretty much fighting all the time, and he just went to jail and all this with this whole other shit. He pretty much like, like you don't know who this dude is. And like I said, you got to remember the system is corrupt. You know what I mean? You got to remember Trump has used Lil Wayne to promote, you know what I mean? Just like like Kamala Harris used Quavo and, and um, what's that bitch name? Megan Thee Stallion. So he will use you, but I mean, his true feelings is he you don't give give a fuck about you you know what i mean and and, and kodak black is going and eventually see that you know what i mean scriptures say um in the book of ecclesiastes of the book of sirach chapter 12 and verse 1 it says never trust thine enemy for like as iron rusteth so is his wickedness Verse 11, though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him, and thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust hath not been altogether wiped away. Verse 12, set him not by thee, least when he hath overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place, neither let him sit at thy right hand, least he speak, least he seek to take the seat, least he seek to take thy seat, and and thou at the last remember my words and be pricked therewith. Verse 13, who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent or any such as come nigh wild beast? So, you know, it said, you know, again, <laughs> I just read he will use thee if he have need of thee. Yeah. And eventually this devil will come down with great rap. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, you're going to have very few of our people that's pretty much, you know, on, on, up in that higher echelon that's going to pretty much turn away from what they got. You know, now, I'm not saying it's not none. You know, again, the Lord knows his creations. You know, I know it's a way greater man than me that it's possible the Lord can do that. But, you know, for the most part, you know, it talks about, like, in the scriptures, it says uh, about how... Uh, um, it's easier for a camel to enter, I mean, it's like, it's easier, yeah, I think it says, it's easier for a camel to enter the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. Because, you know, a camel, pretty much you got to set that camel down and take those things, you know, the, his burdens off of him. You got to take those goods off of him so the camel could fit through that door. But a rich man, he's not going to want to give up his possessions. You know, you you heard his logic. You know what I mean. He thought he finessed um six nine. You know, and made him do a, 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 a um. He say I made him do a, a song for a million dollars with me. You know when you know when I was coming up, your mindset was you didn't want to be associated with a snitch. And I always knew it was something to that because now I look at the culture. You got Charles and White that promoted being a snitch and supposedly got paid off it. And now you got this dude Woody. You know which they're promoting being a snitch. So pretty soon, like, you don't know what this shit going to be. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm not in the street. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because like, once they got that, and I, knew, I always knew something. I mean, like, when that dude was able to still come back to the industry and still get clout and, you know what I mean, still make money, and you don't know who behind him, you know. 
No, I, I had once heard about how he was pretty much dealing with the um, Israeli um, Mossad, which is like the Israelis or the um, Amalekites CIA. You know, somebody big is funding him. And they paid him, paid Kodak a million dollars. But my point being, he literally um, gave up his morals for um, that paper. He's talking about he understand the value of a dollar, but you obviously don't because a dollar not worth shit. And you had a lot of individuals speak on that. Because, you know, man, at the end, they fuck these two-thirds niggas that's in the street like that, period. You know, the Lord going to kill their ass. But my point is, it's, it's integrity, you know. And if you ain't going to stand on certain shit like that, how you going to say you're going to stand for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah? You know what I'm saying? You might have to, you know, you it's going to be somebody that's going to be tested to the point like an Abraham and a, and an Isaac. You get what I'm saying? Somebody going to be tested to the point of, you know, the Lord literally... Abraham and Isaac is you gonna sacrifice your child, your children? Is you gonna be able to overcome that 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 test, that tribulation? You know, I, that could be my test. You know what I mean? Only the Lord know, and we shall see. Because that devil is coming down with great wrath. Like I said again, why do you think all them Edom? It was all them Edomites that was upset. You know what I mean? You know, and I just read something else, you know, like they it's a lot of purpose, confusion, misinformation going on because they don't want you to know what's the truth and what's not. That's easier to sway you and for them to do bullshit. I forgot what the terminology of it is called, but, you know, because I watched a lot of individuals do videos on that, you know. And like the elders, I mean, the elder, um, I, I, she are from, um, North Carolina said, he said, but it's certain reports where people saying these things are true. So I think it's a mixture of some misinformation as well as some truth. You know, talking about people getting kidnapped, people, you know, you got to remember, um, you know, certain customs is not, uh, you know, saying different or or weird or crazy to people that are, that are not familiar with it. And you got to remember, you know, the Haitians customs are fucked up, you know. I yeah, remember the Haitians was very poor, you know, the Levites was very poor, you know, so they pretty much, you know, was eating mud cakes and shit. They was eating whatever they could eat. You know, then again, you just had a civil war down there. That, I mean, they was talking about they was literally eating dead bodies. But again, if you didn't have to do that, why would you do that? So again, like I said, the angriest people on, on this country right now. The angriest people in this country right now is Red Hebrew Edomite, and he's definitely gonna come down with great wrath. This is the book of uh, Revelation, chapter 12, and verse 12, and it reads Stop! Stop! Come here! Kazak! This is the book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 12, and it reads Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in dwell in them woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth what he because he knoweth that he have but a short time you know and this devil is about to pretty much come down with great wrath you know what i mean within the next you got individuals you're saying next maybe next year we got to see how this election go first you know I mean? <laughs> we got to see if this stock market don't crash up you know how this election go then we, I mean, my opinion to come with, if we're gonna make it to next year, we shall have to wait and see. So if you're a so-called black, Hispanic, Native American, similar Indian, West Indian, or Haitian, I implore you to come back to the laws, statutes, and commandments of your power, whose true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh or you will be destroyed. And with that, I wanna give all praises, all honor, and all glory to, call Haloyim, like Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh Shai, Hashem, Rachak, with this book of thumb. I wanna say double honors to my elders, the apostles of the great millstone, who do teach and rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and the freedom to do so now more so than ever. Shalom to the Akim and the Akwath up to listen and learning. Lord willingly, this was edifying. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of other nations, appearing like the other nations, but subscribing to the truth. To you, I say Shalom. So next time I'm able to find the lesson, I say Shalom, Shalom, and Kwam Yashar Allah. Shalom.